Greetings, gang. This is Alyssa, aka the Rational Dove. And this is Michael, aka Soundjack. And welcome back to Pokemon uh, Fool's Gold. Last time we, uh, I'm trying to remember what happened. Um, we, uh, we is that the, the gym. End? yeah? Oh yes, we beat Ed Edricate. That was the big thing. And then we came yeah. to this new new zone, and we explored it a little bit, but then we had to back out. Yeah. So we, uh, it was a little too too strong for us. <laughs> yeah, but now we're gonna continue our way on to Lace Leaf Town. Yes, we are. I really want Egghead to evolve. Yes. Oh yes. Um. Mm -hmm. Since we do really want Egghead to evolve, I did pull up uh, Bulbapedia and the friendship stuff for Generation Two. Yes, we did do that. Uh, so, first things first, um, an egg, uh, Pokemon Hatch from an Egg has an increased base friendship compared to other Pokemon. With okay, a base great. friendship of 120 compared to 70. Ooh, nice. And then you have to get to 220 to evolve. So we only need 100 plus things. Not bad. Uh, Shh, I'm hiding. You're, you're hiding? You're hiding. Oh. Picnicker Camper Vito. Camper Vito, Vito sent out Pineco. I'm aware of. I'm I'm wise to Pineco's antics. Yes. Um. Yeah, I'm assuming, and then with the friendship, I am going to assume at this point we have at least gotten uh, Togepi up to two hundred. Yeah, because... I would be. That would be pretty a good assumption, I think. Yes. So then the the standard stuff we are most easily capable of doing to increase his friendship is mm -hmm. um, obviously gaining a level that will provide yes. plus two to his friendship. Yeah. Um, walking 512 steps uh, will give a flat one plus. Okay. Uh, using a vitamin actually will provide a plus two. Oh, okay. So, yeah, HP up, calcium, carbos. Didn't we get one of those last episode? Uh, we might have, yeah. I don't think I sold it yet. I think it's yeah, the first one so, of those we've gotten, actually. Yeah, I so, think so. Uh, don't wrap me and out. And then the, ma the last main thing is... The, the haircut brothers. So, different responses provide different boosts. From okay. Them. So, so a, a little happier is always going to be a one, no matter where their friendship is. Gotcha. Happy, if it's over 200, is only a plus one. Dang. Okay. Uh, if you were to, if we were to get the response delighted from the older brother, that would be a plus two, and delighted from the younger brother, that would be a plus. Four. Dang, okay. Yeah, I figured the haircut brothers were like the big place to increase friendship. So we do have a Carbos. Um, I don't think it would be a bad idea to raise Egghead's speed, necessarily. No, no, not at all. So let's do it. Let's raise Egghead's speed just a little. Yeah. And, and hey, at least fainting does not do, is not as detrimental as I would have thought. Okay. Uh, Fainting only causes a um, loss of one friendship. Oh, that's not bad. No. I'm assuming not most. At all. I keep finding these darn snakes. Is that what he said? Fishing up these darn snakes? I like. missed what he said. Fisher Judd? I. I keep fishing <gasps> up these dang snakes. Ooh! Is it a water moccasin? I'm a fan. I'm guessing not it's a water it moccasin. Is. So. Water poison's my guess. That's my that's my bet. Okay. So, so what are you thinking? Iris? I'm thinking Iris is a good choice. Okay. Oh, no one knows bite. But I am quite higher level. Yeah. I was right! I was right! Nice. Okay. Um, Chincho is water dark, so yes, I'm changing. Um... 
have Chuck kick it in the head. Exactly. Well, more like throw it. All oh, right, because we we got we. It <laughs> looks so sad. Right it does, but it also Beckons looks so vicious. Again, uh, yes, I'll change. Get Iris back out here. I want Iris to learn like a better psychic move, and also a flying type move. Yeah, we I know. May, it won't... We may need to find TMs for that <laughs> yeah. for this foreseeable future. Goddamn. I need a cigarette. All right, no, bro. You don't. Smoking is bad for you, man. It is. I have a feeling the developers are letting them say things you probably wouldn't normally see in a Pokemon game. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm getting that feeling. Don't know why. Well, here's your question, Michael. Are you thinking that, like... Oops. Are we thinking that, like, Iris should be changed out for someone else? I mean... I think Iris is still good to keep in for now, since I don't think there's much else you're, like, particularly interested in using. I mean, besides um, our shiny Hoot Hoot, but you will still have type overlap with Ballista. Yeah, that's, like, my one thing that I'm like, hmm. So I think, I think, oh, okay. keep, Never mind. I uh, keep so Iris on the team for now. Yep. And if we, if you find something that you want to have on the team more, then that might be a point to switch. Yeah, like, I guess, um, part of my reticence to change out Iris is just because I don't, like, I would probably want it to be, like, a type we don't have already, you know, and yes. if there's, if there's a type that we're, we're having a hard time, like, oh, more dealing like with, yeah, if there's a type we're having a hard time dealing with, then I want, to then have that be the, the mom the mom we use, you know? Yes. So oh no. But I don't know what that type is yet. I mean, what do you think? Do you think there's like a I mean, maybe there's... having a Pokemon that's dark type instead of psychic would be helpful. Although although we wouldn't have we don't have anyone else that's weak to fighting type except for Nat 20, right? Uh, ballista. Oh, Ballista. Yeah, okay, never mind. I don't want a dark type on the team. <laughs> unless that dark type, unless it's like, like, maybe we could change out, like, Iris for, god, I don't like looking at it. <laughs> um, maybe we could try and, like, switch it out, I don't know, for, like, like, my only other candidate, as far as just purely type-wise, is my thought was um, Meowth, because Meowth is psychic dark, and I don't think there'd be a there's not going to be a um, a a overlap of weaknesses there. Okay. But I don't know. What are your thoughts? I mean, there's also definitely some good mons coming up. Right. Um, some new and cool and interesting ones. Some that doesn't sound like a bad idea, but maybe. Let's explore this area first to see if there's anything else you'd be interested in. Okay. Huh, a desert. There isn't a desert in this region normally, huh? Nope. Well, alright. Yay for the Pekka Berry. I appreciate it. So this is the new- so this is the new- New town. I saw a rare Pokemon about an hour ago. It was my first sighting, but I didn't have any Pokeballs. Learn from my mistakes, and always have plenty of Pokeballs. Thanks! Speaking of Lace which, maybe we want to grab some more. The do colorful we, do we have Pokeballs right now? Um, we have... Sorry, let me check the, check the pack for a moment. Um, I think we... I'm trying we to remember. Lemon. Okay, we have that's... 11 Pokeballs, which isn't bad. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Right it's no. a good idea to stock up on Antidote here. There are lots of poisonous Pokemon around here. I'm talking to most of the Boom PCs because this is all newly programmed, so I want to read them. Oh, yeah. I'm grateful to live here in Lace Leaf City. It's like a paradise for rare Pokemon. Welcome, Actually, what do they have here? I'm going to. Yeah. I do think we want to grab some more Great Balls. Okay. <laughs> more than 11? 
Like yes. 15? Is 15 enough? Or do we want to go for the 20? Do we want to go for the 2-0? I'm trying to think because this is, if we stay in like just the new stuff. Yeah. This is the only focus, this is the only mark in the area. Oh boy. There I think is we're another... low on high super potions, so I'm just gonna get some super potions really quick. That's fine. And then, I mean, like, maybe yeah, three thing... hyper potions just in case something happens and we yeah. need it. I mean, I don't, yeah, I mean, my thing is, I mean, there's still a healing place. Right. They, it just doesn't have a mark because there's the route that they said is the desert, then there's a town, and then there's another route to go, but there's also another place in, basically in the town that has a bunch of new Pokemon, so. Oh, wow. There's treasure to be found there if you know your way. Oh, there's a maze with a treasure? Yes. What is the treasure, though? Is it a Pokemon? Is it a TM? It's probably a Pokemon. I caught a Toga- <gasps> What?! Yes, oh my the god! features Wild Togetic. Ooh, Wild Togetic. That's fun. Well, I already have Togepi, so less yeah. exciting, but it's still kind it's of It's a exciting. 1% chance, but they exist. Ooh, yay, Leftovers! That's handy. Ooh, someone should yeah. definitely take that. Someone needs to have that. Who do we want yes. to give it to? Who's, who's, who's the boy that'll, oh my god, no, I want, who, who will, who, who's, who's the best when it comes to leftovers, I think. Who will benefit from leftovers the most? I mean, like, who's got the most HP? Well, okay. Pardosa, Pardosa does. Pardosa does. Well, actually, maybe a better question is the most offensive Pokemon we have. Um, I feel like that's gotta be Egghead. I feel like that, too. Let me, let me look, though. Stats. This music's pretty good, though. It's nice and happy and light, you know? Yeah. Alright, so, uh, 40... So, well, special... I'm looking at both defense and special defense, so... 40, 41. 40, 41. 45, 48. I mean, it's good, it's thing to remember that, like, levels are a thing, too. Um, yeah. 45, 43, 46, 42, 38, 31, 55, 48. Okay. I mean, I don't, I think, well, Pardosa could definitely be a good mod for it. Yeah. I honestly think that might... That perhaps we give it to Egghead, since it is still defensive. Yeah. And it would decrease, it would help prevent it from fainting. No! Item space store- okay, you know, I gotta do- I gotta do some- some finagling, one second. Yeah. I gotta- I gotta give someone else the leftovers yeah, and we then wanna, take- might wanna empty out some of the, the- our spots before we go into that cave. Right, yeah. I don't know, yeah. Cool. I re read in a book that you should raise any Pokemon you catch with love and care. Actually, I want to talk to the folks in the Pokemon Center. I don't typically, but... Yeah. The cave here is a large maze where people get lost. However, rare Pokemon lie at the deepest end of it. Ooh, so exciting. To oh, yeah. the east of here is a desert with an abandoned town. Luckily, Laceleaf City is a very hospitable place. Interest you know, I was gonna say it's interesting there's a tropical ocean and a tropical area and a desert right next to each other, but that's actually pretty common in IRL if there's a like especially if there's a mountain range bisecting the two. Yeah. Because then the water comes into the tropical zone and then prevents the like the mountain range uh, prevents the water yeah. from getting to the other parts of the, of the of the area. So indeed, the programmers were so lazy that they forgot to make me until the day before lunch. <laughs> See, this is the stuff I was thinking would be funny to find. Yes. Oh my god. So what is what are the so I gotta I'm in the Discord, so I might actually ask them. I'm like, is this true? So, okay, the developer who's watching this, because I know 
Oh, I don't know if we mentioned this, but in case you haven't mentioned it, um, one of the developers actually left a comment on one of our videos, and I think it- I think I already mentioned it. Did I mention Frog Pond on here before? I forget if I did, but if I didn't, Frog Pond uh, left a comment, and we're very appreciative of it, so thank you very much, but, uh, if- Frog Pond, if you are still watching, uh, let us know if that was indeed, like, if you guys- if that was true, that you didn't program them until the day before launch, or you just added that joke to be funny. Yeah. I don't know why you'd want my garbage, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, oh, he, taking the- he, he gave- he, he gave me apple the, the apple core, yeah. Okay, and so up here... Oh, is this the maze? Yes. Looks like it is. Well, there's a cave to go into. This maze is an archaeological wonder. I'm surprised that there's so few people here. When are we gonna do the runes of Alf? Are we at that point yet? That we're gonna do the runes of Alf? Oh, we could. We could if you wanted, but... I, I mean, we, let's... We got... Let's do this first, but... I, I don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss the ruins of Alf because there might be some cool stuff there too. Yeah. Cool new stuff, you know. What's typically in the ruins of Alf if you solve all the puzzles? What do you get at the end? Unknown. <laughs> You're just like it's just unknown. <laughs> yeah, it's just unknown. And then there's like a patch of grass you can only access by completing some of the puzzles, which nets you not to in Smeargle encounters. Oh, I see. And that's about it. Ah, I don't even gosh. think you can really get items there, so... Alright, well, let's do this maze then. Jungle maze, ooh. Alright, um... Oops! What's here? Oh! Tangela's here! Ho! Uh, I'm super glad we came here, by the way. You know, Tangela might not be a bad option on the team. We don't have a rock or a poison type on the team. Oh, that's true. Although, oh, is it also weak to fighting, though? Let me double check. I'm trying to remember. Resistances is a bit harder to remember. I'm wondering right. if poison resists fighting. It might. I don't remember. Did I catch it? I oh, know I didn't catch because there's a there's not a little pokeball no. thingy. Yeah. Because I was thinking, like, what I could do... Oh! What I could do is maybe catch this boy as an option for replacing... Like, I don't know, what are your thoughts yeah. on Crobat? Do you think it'd be worth it to have? Like, considering it's, um, like... Or is it, like, more... Or is it, like, not as good as it could be in this gen? Wow! <laughs> okay. Oh, good. Woo! It just Dang. caught. Ah, uh, okay. What'd you say? Um, Dang it. Oh, no. I'm poisoned now. That's, uh, that's... Come on, catch! So, so... Oh, my god. Defensively, poison does... I mean, fighting does resist poison. Oh, that's... Okay. So it would take neutral. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I killed it. I didn't mean to. Oh, oh well. well, I leveled up. Is... Well, now we get to use one of those Petra Berries. Ooh, Sharpen! Uh, what does that do again? Increases attack. Oh. Let me double check if it also does special attack. I Because if it does, physical. then I'll definitely take it over agility, because, I mean, that 20's not, like, the fastest anyway. Yeah, only increases physical attack. Oh, well, no. <laughs> a Porygon's yeah. a, a special attacker. Why would I bother with Sharpen, then? Precisely. Yeah. No. Yes. I don't know why I do not want to win Sharpen. Yeah. Um... Well, at least T Tangula have a 20% encounter rate in here, so... Oh, that's... It's too hard to find another. Yeah. Sure. But, but anyway, again, on your thoughts on keeping Iris on the team or not? I mean, it definitely... Like, could there we... Are definitely good, there are definitely good moves it learns. Yeah. But <gasps> unfortunately, there... Right, I saw Kadabra. What is up with Abra? 
Oh, what type is it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember. Did we look at the decks? I don't know if we looked at the decks. I think we did. I think we saw it's dark. Dark type. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, um, Chuck needs to get- well, yeah. Yeah, I don't- like, the thing about dark type is that I don't- I already have, you know, most of what dark type can be useful against, like, Pardos it already takes care yeah, of, so... Ghost and Psychic is predominantly what Dark is good against, which and is what Ghost is good against. Yeah, so there's really no reason for me to have a Dark type on my team, I feel like. It's kind of redundant. Yeah. Oh, hey, level 24. Ooh. Sweenub. Okay, I already caught Sweenub. Uh, but what were you saying about Iris? That it learns good moves, but... It learns good, a lot of good special moves, but as I checked, it's a predominantly physical attacker. Oh, that's not the best, then. So, it's, yeah, it's uh, that. Yeah, let me get back to that, but I'm pretty sure like, it's... I, I like, I really like Crobat, but if it's not, if it's gonna not learn any good special moves, then I'm like, mm. No, not you know. follow, it learns great special- it learns some great special moves, but- I mean, it's not gonna learn any great physical moves, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, that's a dead end. There oh, actually, go. I could probably use the item finder. Oh, another Tangela. Well, um... Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. I, that's perfect. Crobat has a 80 physical attack versus a 70 special attack. Yeah. And the best physical move this thing gets is wing attack. Oh my god. Mm. Really? That's its best flying type move? That's garbage. Best physical flying type move. Oh. Ew. It's That's gross. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh no. Oh, this is good. Um... Uh, uh, I'll put on Chuck, I guess. No, Ballista. Oh! Because it's immune to the poison. That's a good oh, idea, well. that's a good idea. I well, got it. Well, I, I mean, Chuck is also paralyzed, so... Yeah, oh, well. I just want to catch it, but it's like being, being a little turd right now. <laughs> yeah. He's not wanting to join the team. There we go. All right, Tangela. Yeah. Yeah, Gorgon. Though viewing its tickets, thickets of writh writhing tendrils is fine. Seeing its eyes can turn one into stone. Ooh, I want to give you a name. Oh if yeah. You were, if you were, if you were a female, I'd name you Medusa, but no, you're not. Um. Medusa. Medusa. Yeah. We're we're doing it. That's hilarious. <laughs> Medu Sir. Okay. Um Perfect. Yeah, cuz I'm thinking like cuz yeah, we don't have we don't have a rock type or a poison type and I don't think it overlaps a lot of weaknesses, right? Cuz what are, what are, what are Look at like Nihilego or something cuz that's also rock poison. Yeah, rock poison is not a very common type combo. No. And what is its we what are its weaknesses? Uh, mm -hmm. It is weak to ground, steel, water, and psychic. Ground, steel, water, and psychic. Okay. Oh, actually. it is a four times weakness to ground. Oh, I didn't know it was four times. I mean, I guess yeah, that makes rock sense. Rock and poison. That's oh, right. Ground. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Thank you. Um... We do... We, do... we have a weakness to ground. Mm -hmm. We have a... We don't have a weakness to water right now. Uh... No, we do. Egghead. Oh, you're right. Egghead is weak to water. So we'd have two water weaknesses. We'd have... What we have... We'd have two ground weaknesses. One of the ground weaknesses is a... Is, is a triple threat. Um... And then... However, it... we have very strong counters. We do! Weaknesses. We have both Ballista... I mean, Ballista's kind of a crapshoot, because it's also weak to ground, too. 
So it has to be faster. But it count but it's got the thunderbolt to counter the water weaknesses, and then that twenty is there to deal with the ground. Oh yeah, yes. And then what else did you say was weak to? Uh it's weak to psychic, steel. right? Steel. Yeah, steel and psychic. Steel, okay. I mean we don't have anyone else weak we don't have any weaknesses to steal. We got and... Chuck that's weak to psychic. Yeah, we have only one weakness to psychic. So honestly, I think Tangela might not be a bad choice to replace Iris with. No. Also, I think part of the reason why I'm like, eh, is because Iris is so creepy. <laughs> and like, I mean, <laughs> it's just staring at me. She just... Okay, so... Oh my god, look at how... Stored. Okay. Um, so... And then if we withdraw, and what's nice about Medusa, Medusa is that we don't need to worry so much. All right, let me just look at our box numbers. Okay, we're good on, our current box is box two, so we're fine. Yeah. We we okay. don't need to worry, which is good. Cool. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah, let's check, let's check, let's check him out. I mean, he needs to be in front. Switch. Yeah, only one level below. Yeah. Very defensive. No, wait, hold on. Oh, I misread that. Very physically defensive and very strong oh. special attacker. Yeah, that's very interesting. Does it get a lot of good uh, special attack moves? Uh, we're working on that. Uh, okay. I hope it's not the same problem with Ed's we're having with Iris. A strong physical. And this thing doesn't evolve into, well, at least not now, but if there's an update, which they've been talking about an update, maybe it could evolve into Kangrowth? That'd be cool. Probably, but that probably wouldn't be until next year at the earliest. Yeah, no. For this, for this, this playthrough is just um, gonna be a single stage, which is fine. Okay, so. It does currently know Vine Whip, which is a good physical move. Yeah. It will get Poison Fang in a few levels. Okay. Those are all physical though, right? And this is a special attacker. No, this is... All oh, right, I'm def... Yeah, I'm talking defensive. Uh... Oh, yeah. It de... Sorry. Uh, yeah, I was thinking off and physical attack because of the physical defense. No. But it does have also good special moves in Giga Drain and Ancient Power. Oh! That's nice. And didn't we get Sludge Bomb as a... Don't we have that as a TM? Or am I crazy? I think... Maybe? I know we got Shadow Ball. We did get Shadow Ball. No, okay, it's Shadow Ball. Okay. I mean, I'm curious though. Does it learn Shadow Ball? I'm just curious. I don't know if we're gonna teach no, it, it that. No. Of course Ballista learns it. Ballistas are jack of all trades over here. Yeah, yeah okay. So, because, like, yeah, okay. Well, as long as it does learn some good, like, special moves, then I'm okay. Yeah. And do you know if, like, is Shadow, is Sludge Bomb a TM in this generation? Yes, it is TM 36. Okay, because that's, uh... that's a special move, and that's a good special uh poison attack which would be really neat and, you know. <gasps> oh it's so cute it's all oh it's so oh, oh it's so cute <laughs> oh my god oh my god it's the cutest thing i've ever seen oh my god okay um i mean we can try to do some it's probably a rock type if it's a gargoyle um, do I risk the biscuit? <laughs> I'm gonna risk the biscuit. Yeah, I figured okay. it was a rock type. Uh, uh, ooh. Come on. There we go. Wow, it's not doing a lot. Oh, boy. Um, let's try and catch it now. Oh, we might need yeah. to go back for more gray balls. <laughs> Good lord. I told you we needed great balls. Oh, good. Medusa's already down. <laughs> uh, Ballista's coming out, because you you resist. Although, this is getting scary, because it's using rollout, and that's not, that's not good. 
Come on. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Woo! It silently watches over the homes of many trainers, but it is often confused for an actual statue. Yeah, I'll name the Gligar. Oh, it's so cute! We're gonna name you... I know I'm winning you. What's your name? Garf. It? Perfect. Garf? Garf, yes. I don't know why. It just called itself to me, you know? Alright, I'm gonna go back gotcha. to the... Back to the PC to heal freaking Medusar. That was on me though. I could yeah. I should have switched out. Um, but at least producer doesn't evolve via friendship, so it's okay. I do appreciate the developers trying their hardest to make uh, unique typing combos. I really appreciate oh, yeah. it. Yeah, a lot of them have been very unique. Did we get more Pokeballs? We did not. We should get more Pokeballs. <laughs> I man, the cash rate's so high over here. Like, it's so high. I mean, maybe I should, like, wound them a bit more before I start lobbing balls at them? Or maybe they're anticipating that I would have more apricots on my person and I'm not just relying no, on- No, I think- I think status might be the way to go. Mmm, that's a good point. Oh boy. We don't need Entangle's 21. Got, Entangle's got glare right now, right? Uh, yes. I think it does. Because that I know gives paralysis, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Medusa Mon that has glare. Absolute perfection. <laughs> yep. Honestly, I might see myself sticking and keeping that on the move set till the end. Because glare's not a bad move. Doesn't it have 100% accuracy? Or something? Pretty sure. Yeah. Like a nice, reliable paralysis move is good. It also has poison yeah. powder, which is like. Eh. I can see my- oh, actually, I wanted to check- oh, I can't check, um, I have to go to move to check the actual move stats. But yeah, it's- 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 it hasn't- it didn't change- it hasn't changed to be the awesomeness that is Leech Life in the present generation, Gen which- yeah. sigh. Um... Now, hopefully, we can make progress. Yeah. Dark type, so that'll work. Ooh, I mean, I'm trying to think if I want Abra or not. It looks pretty cool, so I'll catch it. Oh, but before yeah. I do that, just to guarantee, yeah, that I have a little, have an easier time. Ooh, and that'll be helpful if we run into another legendary. True. Which we could run into here, I'm assuming, right? Or did they not program it like that? Oh, wow. Think, Look at how easy it was now that I had Paralyze. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think it's pro I don't think Entei would be programmed to appear in caves. I think it only appears in grass. Oh, I see. So, we, w we won't see it here. I see, no. I see. Uh, we're not gonna have you fight yourself. No. We only- we're- that, although actually I shouldn't run away, because all these mons are good XP, so I should just- Oh, absolutely. Give them- that, give them to the boys, that Imagine all the experience it. we can get for, uh, that 20. Ooh, yeah! I also or want- head even. Yeah, I also want that 20 to learn. Wow! Yeah, Tangle is real defensive, because that didn't take it out. Mud slap it. Wagon there we rage. go. Oh, you must oh. have. What, what, I'm, what did I miss? No, I'm I'm the one that was behind. Oh, uh, I see. Um, I'm just the only problem with with Medusa with the with the Tangalas is that they keep poisoning everything. Yeah. So that makes it a little tough. True. But no, if we worth it. Yeah. Ho. Oh, yeah, that leftovers is real nice. What's yes. up? What did I figure out? It's encounter rate. It is. Wow! Oh, that's right. It's the nighttime. It's a 50% encounter during the night. Oh, boy. There's even an encounter that's normally here during the day that's not available now. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
Yeah. We want to. Is it like an encounter? Where you're like, ooh, she needs to see it, and we need to come back during the daytime. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I'm I mean, gonna have to get I more th status healers at some point. Jeez. Yeah, I think. Okay. Let me double check, but I think it's the. This is the only place you can find this Pokemon. Oh boy. Well, then we we really gotta gotta see it then. Well, um, okay. Okay. It's yeah. not the only place we can find it. That's good. Well, okay. Technically, this is the only place we can find it. We can find this evolution in other places, but we can't get this evolutionary line elsewhere in Johto. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh my god, we're so close to leveling up. Oh, I hope it levels- I hope it evolves. I want it to evolve so bad. Yes, yes, oh yes. Oh my god. Like, please. Please evolve. Okay, hold on. Medusa got- oh, Ooh, yeah. Medusa leveled oh, up! Oh, good. <sighs> that defense is really good, though. I can- yeah. Ooh, it- it leveled up! Come yes. on, evolve, 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 evolve. Ooh, trying to learn ancient power. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's actually not a bad move because it's it's a special attacker. So. Yeah, and um, we can get an omni boost. Ooh, yeah, but what do we remove? Mud slap. I'd say mud slap. Yeah. Okay. And again, we still have the TM for that, so we can relearn it whenever we want. <gasps> It's evolving! <gasps> oh my god! Oh, it's a little dragon boy! I love it! Oh, I need to see this new one! Egghead! Hey. Look at you, you're a... What are you... Oh, it's just pure ground! Yeah. Ooh, I thought it was gonna be a dragon type. That's why I was so Same. hyped for the dragon I... rage, but... I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Maybe that'll be Togekiss in the in the the version three. Oh, I hope so. Oh man, he looks so cute. Ah! What we got for stat? What we got stat wise? Oh, I didn't check stats. Sorry, one second. Um, stats we have. Okay, it's still it's a it got a little faster. Oh, it's it's yeah. it's attack jumped way up. Oh, heck yeah. So now it's more of an attacker, which, like, that's fine. Yeah, because that's okay. what we mostly had anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. So yeah, it's more def- uh, It is- It's special defense is chonky. It's a chonk boy. Yeah. Um, I gotta think. Do we have enough good enough spread between physical and special attackers? I feel like we do. Ballista's- I mean, Ballista's mixed, but it's- It has mostly, um, it's got, uh, yeah. special moves right now. Pardos is a physical attacker. Porygon's special. Togetic's physical. Chuck's physical. And Medusa's physical. Or special, actually. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of even, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. We need a couple of more special moves for Medusa. But... Ooh, a big pearl. Ooh, I can sell that. So the real question now is if I want to keep Togetic or not. I mean, I've gone so far with Egghead. Yeah. It feels like a tragedy to let to let her to let him go. <laughs> yeah. Again, I think out of out of there out of the various generations, I think this fan game with all the different designs wouldn't be a bad one to have continual switches if you find something interesting. Oh yeah, of course. But if, the, if there's nothing that's interesting to you, then there's no reason to not get rid of it, I don't think. Right, yeah. I mean, the I guess the only problem with Egghead, or the thing that's a little sad, is just that I thought it was going to be part dragon type, and I got super hyped. But it is unfortunately not part dragon, so it's kind of like, well, oh. <laughs> hey. Well, hey. Um, if it was part dragon, it would be four times weak to ice, so. That's true. That's a good point. Like, there's just so oh. many. Oh! <gasps> It's another shiny! What? It's another shiny! We found another one! Oh my god! And it's a goddamn Kangaskhan! We oh my god! 
Oh <laughs> my god! You know, this one is way more interesting than freaking than freaking uh than freaking hoot. Holy shit, okay. Um I think water gun should be enough to do chip damage, but like not enough to kill it. Okay. Or do you think okay. I should switch? <laughs> Let's get it paralyzed first. That's not a bad idea. Alright, Medusa, think... come on. Yeah, I think. Oh, well now I'm paralyzed idea. too. Fun! Hi. That's fine. All as right. long as we can get it paralyzed. Um. And while. Yeah. And while. Leech Life doesn't do much, but is neutral, at the very least, because it is dark. Right, yeah. <laughs> We're both paralyzed. Wow, nice. that didn't do a lot. Oh well. I only have 5 PP on it. <sighs> it's slowly chipping away. <laughs> oh, yeah. you know what? You know what I should do? What? Let me just, uh, real quick. Save state. Oh, save state. Yes. Yeah, so I was like, let's save state this just to make sure. Alright, um. I have a lot of save states that I'm not using. I don't know if I should we save We really over. shouldn't. Yeah, we could probably start. Don't need to, like, keep making new ones. We can probably just, like, go over one. Yeah. Alright. Vine whip. Uh. Would you think Vimit would do enough to, like, bring it down significantly but not kill it? It's not- it wouldn't be stab on my end. And I'm not a yeah. physical attacker. True. Oh, and I don't know what it- what Kangaskhan's stats are, but I'm assuming it probably has good defense. Yeah, it's yeah. Type. Especially since we now have a safe state, we can try it. Yeah. If, it if I fuck up, we can just pretend it doesn't happen. And like, oh, we would, we'd have another fighting weakness if we decided to put Kangaskhan on the team. Sighing. <laughs> okay. Do you think I'm gonna try? I'm gonna try. Okay. Cause like, bro, a shiny Kangaskhan on the team. That sounds so rad. It does. Like, I want it. <laughs> I yeah. want it. Like, like. Like, okay, Hoodoo was fine, but like, Hoodoo, like, it's Hoodoo, you know? But this is a freaking yeah. Kangaskhan. And it's a cool, okay, cool Tyranitar. It's a, it's a, it's a Kangaskhan in a Tyranitar skin. Oh, yeah. come on. Alright. Maybe I'll do one more Leech Life. Okay. I don't, that shouldn't looking, kill it. Looking at the stats yeah. of Kangaskhan. Yeah. Uh, 105 HP. Wow! 95 attack. Oh my god! 80 defense, 90 speed, and 80 special defense. Its only weak spot is special attack with 40. Oh, I did it! Oh my god, it's fast, too! It's fast? As soon as a Pokemon takes- well, 90 speed's not bad. No, it's not 90 speed, it's 40. Oh, never mind. <laughs> As soon as a Pokemon takes his gaze away, Tangasan swiftly moves to kill it. Is it a freaking weeping angel? Basically. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Uh, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna lean into it. Name it Angel. It's ironic, okay. but it's also not at the same time. Okay. Angel. Well, and. I, I. Looking. Looking at the move pool. Uh huh. For Kangaskhan. I'm getting so much money! I love it! Alright, um, um, I'm- I think this is a good time for me to dig. I'm thinking. Sure! Yeah. Yeah, and let's dig. We'll, and then we probably want to save for the time being. Oh, yes. Hell yes. And call it Hell- here. Hell freaking yes. Boy. Oh, I have to make such- uh, so many decisions, Michael. This is the difficulty. This is the difficulty zone. What mon do we bring? What Look. mon? Like, uh, I don't know. Cause like, here's, here's the thing. Okay, what's the thing? Lay, lay it I'm on looking, me. I'm looking at Kangas Khan's move pool. Yes. Its level up is not superb. Per Ooh. Se. 
But its TM move pool is fucking nuts. Please tell me it learns one of the elemental punches. It learns all three. Oh! Ooh! Oh my god! Oh my god! This this freaking Kangaskhan is becoming more and more ideal for me. My only problem though is that like we're gonna have so many physical attackers, and like I'm just so like anal about like making sure my team is very even. Cause I like to have well, I like to well, know that I can deal with a lot of shit, you know. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Also, it's not like we. I mean, we have two special attackers. We, have, we do. We have, I, and I don't think a four to two split's horrible. Right. Especially considering a how much damage Porygon has been able to put out. And Porygon's B, been doing real well, yeah. With the the freaking variety of of Weep and Bell. Yeah. We yeah. have a lot of good coverage we do we do have i mean ballista's been sort of saving my ass and i mean the other thing too is that ballista's technically a mixed attacker and like if i look at its stats i mean right now unfortunately stat wise it's more of a it's more of an attacker but like mm -hmm. 59 versus 51 is still it's not that different you know like it's no. it's not like in the case of pardosa where like its special attack is like 20 or 30 points lower yeah. Where it's very clear. Yeah, Same right thing now, with like okay. Togetic too. Like Togetic's yeah. clearly a physical attacker, or yeah. Chuck's clearly a physical attacker. Yeah. <clears throat> you I know, mean, King Khan will learn Mega Punch next level. It's level twenty-four, right? E yes, yes, I think so. Who Mega Punch? Uh, ooh, ooh, a nice neutral like physical move that's good also and i was wondering are there any good normal type moves we can teach matt 20 because i want should we teach it hyper beam i mean should we be yes. that guy yes because <laughs> i'm thinking i'm thinking porygon i definitely want to keep recover i definitely want to keep surf we're gonna have to teach it waterfall though i have a feeling like i might just it might be just one of those things where we look teach it waterfall, and then once we get the fly location for, um, for the elite four, then ooh, we can just kind of whatever about it. For, hold on, it's it's special, it's special, right? Hyper beam, yeah. No, swift, because we have the TM. It's normal, <gasps> and it can't miss. Ooh, you're right, it is! It is special. Ooh, yeah! Okay. This, this ep I know Look, we, were, we I said think, we were I going think... to end this episode. Should we end the episode now? Or should I end it with me teaching? Yeah, I think we end the episode now. We finish our discussion outside, and then we come back in with... That makes sense. Made. That makes sense. Okay, we're going to deliberate on how we're going to do the team. I have some thunking to do. Um, but I'm super excited. I can't believe we got another shiny. That's crazy. Okay, anyway. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Doing all this common YouTube stuff. And if you want more of me, you can, uh, check me out at Twitter. On Twitter. At Twitter. On Twitter. You know what I mean. <laughs> yep. And you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at SoundJack426. Thank you guys for watching. Bye! Bye.